Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at using trigonometry to find the area of a triangle. So we have in triangle ACE the measure of angle A equals 42 degrees, the measure of angle E equals 103 degrees, and AC equals 15 meters. And we want to find the area of triangle ACE to the nearest square meter. So the first thing we should do with this problem is draw a diagram of our triangle so that we could label it accordingly. So we're looking at triangle ACE, and we could label the measure of angle A is 42 degrees, the measure of angle E is 103 degrees, and the side AC is equal to 15 meters, which we could just abbreviate with M. And now the goal is to find the area of this triangle, and to do so we're going to make use of the following equation. We know that the area of a triangle expressed with capital K is equal to one-half AB times sine of angle C. And what we mean by this is that when we're looking at some triangle, we'll call this triangle ABC with sides lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c, that we could find the area of the triangle when we know these three pieces of information. So that tells us what we're looking for in this problem is we're looking for a connected side, angle, and side. Because notice we're using side A, angle C, and side B. So we need to find a side, an angle, and a side. But here we have two of the angles and we have one of the sides. So the first task is to find one of the missing sides of this triangle. And to do so, we're going to use the law of sines. So we're going to find, let's say, the value of x. We're going to find the side opposite of angle A. So to use the law of sines, we could write sine of 42 degrees over x equals, and we have sine of 103 degrees over 15. We'll leave the units of measurement out for now, but we'll put them in at the end of the problem. So now to solve for x, all we need to do is cross multiply. So we have x times sine of 103 degrees equals 15 times sine of 42 degrees. To solve for x, we just divide both sides by sine of 103 degrees. And this tells us that x is equal to, and we have 10.3009735. One thing to point out is that I prefer to type the final product in the calculator, 15 sine 42 divided by sine 103. But if you want to type it in at this step, you can. I just find it easier to just do it all in one shot. So you could write 15 sine 42, hit enter, and divide by sine 103 degrees. But make sure you're in degree mode also. But since this problem, we're rounding to the nearest square meter, what we could do is we could round this side length here to the nearest tenth. We're not going to need all these extra decimals out here, but 10.3 should be sufficient. So we're just going to erase everything else. We could round to the nearest tenth for this part of the problem. So instead of x, now we can replace x with 10.3, and remember, the units we're using for now is meters. So we have 10.3 meters. But now we're much closer to being able to use this equation, but remember, the angle that we need to use is included. That is, it's between the two sides that we know. So since we're going to be using 15 meters and 10.3 meters, we need to know the measure of angle C. So we're going to use the fact that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So we're setting up the equation, we have 42 degrees plus 103 degrees plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. So now we just combine like terms and we have 145 degrees plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. So now to solve for the measure of angle C, we subtract 145 degrees from both sides. Now once everything simplifies, we have the measure of angle C is equal to 35 degrees. So now this gets us 
much closer to being able to solve this problem because now we have the three pieces of information that we need. We have our side angle side connection that we were looking for. So we're going to use 15, we're, go we're going to use 35 degrees and 10.3 as our values to plug into our equation. So for the next step, we're using K equals one half A times B times sine of angle C. So for A, we could set A equal to 10.3. And we'll throw our meters in now. B will set equal to 15 meters. And remember, angle C is the angle between the two sides we're using, so this is 35 degrees. So now this expression you could type in a calculator all at once. You could do 1 half times 10.3 times 15 times sine 35. And it should work out to, you'll get 44.308. 7791 and remember the unit we have meters times meters which is meters squared or square meters so but the last step is to round to the nearest square meter so since we have 44.3 we're going to be rounding down to 44 so our final answer k the area of the triangle is equal to 44 square meters Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on finding the area of a triangle using trigonometry. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.